Um, I wanted I wanted to talk about something. I haven't set up my mic yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you guys. Should you always keep trying? And first, to be more uh, responsible, I I'm gonna give a more positive response. Then my second view on it will be a more I don't want I don't want to say realistic. But it's the only word I, I I can think of right now. So, should you should you always keep trying? Yes, of course. And it's something you always hear about life being too short. You know, there's always reasons not to do something. And and part of the I don't, I, at least for me, you know, sort of pushing yourself to do better or or or, or do something. That you know makes you nervous, in a healthy way, to sort of, to sort of push yourself through it and just make it out. It's such a oddly empowering and satisfying moment, and more often than not, there are always positive side effects to it. Now, let us talk about the more realistic part of it. Which uh, sometimes, regard regardless of how much we would like to think it's worth to keep trying, and even if we really do think it, it's worth to keep trying, sometimes it's just too difficult to keep trying. I wanna be, I wanna, I wanna be very careful with 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 my words. If you feel like you wanna keep trying, but everything is just too much. Or the or the situation is just too much, or or whatever or, or whatever it is is just too much. It's okay to not keep trying. If you are able to accept yourself for not trying, anyways. No, stop, stop. If you can come to terms that you didn't do something because because you were scared of it. Then you still made progress there, because you are able to forgive yourself, and still uh, and still accept yourself for not doing something, and s instead instead of having it lean to the negative side of of calling yourself a lot of bad words or or, or bad things in general, and when it comes to not wanting to be alive. I would say depression is rather difficult. You know, sometimes it really does feel or seem like everything is just negative. And so and sometimes it could feel like, you know, the best way is to just not be alive. You know, I I I will just be honest about it. If you really feel like that that's your way out. I understand, and I and I don't blame you for it. It's always commonly said that it's not a solution, and that and that you're and that you're only putting other people in in pain, or you know all of these things. And absolutely, I still agree with that sentiment. But still, your feelings about it matter, and sometimes it can be difficult to feel like. Other other people will actually care or not, but I do understand why you would think that's an answer. And and technically it is, but that's not the point. That's not the point. I want you to feel justified in the way you feel. And even if you feel like, or even if you know, you're being unwise about something. Just let yourself be unwise about it. Let yourself either grow as a person over time, you know, and learn more things and, and whatnot. Or just let yourself feel how you want to feel. Because sometimes it is necessary to just go through that process because it won't... It's very difficult to to one day just suddenly start and try to have a new life, you know, or try to start over or, 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 or right away try to pretend like nothing bad ever happened. 
with whatever you're feeling, just know it's okay. Even if somebody ha even if somebody has gone through something similar or exactly the same, they're not you. And they and they could be feeling things on a different scale. They could have a different you know, di different response to it. It do it doesn't mean that they know what you're going through. They might know the experience but but they don't know the, the exact feelings. Let yourself feel how you like to feel. And just know that it is perfectly okay. I completely understand the unhealthy part of, of, of what I'm saying. But I'm not going to focus on that right now. Because, because that's, that's a conversation for a different day. And right now the point is, just let yourself feel sad or mad or 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 tired or anxious or, or paranoid or any negative emotion you, you, you can feel. If that's how you feel like, then go for it. I'm a big believer of people will eventually make Maybe make the right choice when the time comes. Others believe that you have to push yourself to get through it or do something to get through it. I'm for sure that could be true for some people. It was for me actually, but but that's not but but the, but the, but, the, but that's not the point. If you feel like you can do, you you can do anything right now, but just cry or just play games or. Or um, or indulge in narcotics, or <laughs> I don't know why I'm so worried about what I'm saying. Just keep going for as long as you can, because while I do believe it's it's always worth to keep trying. I don't know what shoes you're in. I don't know what I don't know what you've gone through, and however you feel like. And whatever you think is the answer, I understand. I don't blame you, but I do hope you you decide to keep going and growing. And I hope you make it out a, a a happier person. And don't be too hard on yourself, because you know, obvi obviously that's no fun or or anything like that. But just keep going. And if you can't, I won't blame you for it. Um, sometimes it definitely can be a lot. And what you do is up to you. At the end of the day, it is your life. The question was, is it always worth to keep trying? My answer is yes, but honestly, it's up to you. And that's all I have for that. So yeah, thank, thank you for watching. If you are watching, I hope you feel better because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure if I was, you'd be watching this, but I hope you feel better. And I hope you just let yourself feel. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.